All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. All right, so in this video, I want to help you beat Yellow Long. This is the boss in Chapter 4 of Black Myth Wukong that a lot of people are claiming is the hardest boss in the game. He's definitely one of the hardest, I, I would say, so far that I've fought. Um, I want to give you some tips on how to beat him. Uh, first of all, I want to show you my stats. There are some videos already up on YouTube about how to beat this boss. A lot of them are used, a few of them are using gimmicks and not really breaking down and explaining how to beat them. So that's kind of what I, I want to do. It took me about 25 to 30 tries, which is less than I think it took a lot of other people. Um, so, and by the way, so I'm going to show you my stats. Uh, my level, this is the, this was my level around the time I beat him. I think I was actually at 74. That might be higher than other people when they reach him because prior to this, I was doing like literally everything in the game, all the side quests, everything. So if you feel the need to, I would suggest you go farm. And if you feel the need to, I would also suggest you take advantage of free respecking. So one of the, so what i did before i fought him a few times and then i did some slight respecking um i maxed out my health i maxed out my defense and i think that's mainly and and i maxed out the attack here in the survival um i didn't do any changes to stamina or martial arts I don't think that's none of these are necessarily specifically important to beating him. Um, staff stances, I believe smash stance doesn't work against him. I believe th uh, thrust stance, those heavy attacks work against him, I believe. Not the smash stance heavy attacks. I beat him only using light attacks. So that's actually what I'm going to be showing you in my video. I only beat him using, using light attacks. But if you do use heavy attacks. I believe only the thrust or the pillar stance might work. I'm not 100% sure on that. I know when I use smash, smash stance attacks, he was parrying them. All right, so just showing you what else I had. Immobilize, that's a, I'm going to be using that mainly. So the main three things uh, like spells I use is immobilize. Um, my The big head uh, spirit, whatever it's called, I'll check that in a second. And I use I use pluck of many and my transformation at the end. So this is what it looked like for me. And, and I didn't even have uh, my transformation upgraded uh, at all. So I showed you that. Also want to show you this just to, just so you get full context of, you know, what the stats of my character was. Uh, if I go to Celestial Medicines, um, you can see that I upgraded my maximum health through zoo dog four times that's why it says four out of ten um and no mine uh medicine which is which increases your defense i also increased that 13 times these are from resources you find throughout the game so once again uh more Many more context this is shen monkey where you can upgrade your gore just showing you where my how far my gourd was upgraded. I had six, what is it, six drinks in my gourd? Which one, which fucking one do I use? Uh, it's it's this one I have equipped, so I have eight actually. It's eight I have, eight drinks I have. Um, and then the blacksmith is over here. Some of you may not have gotten to, this is an optional area. This is the blacksmith and if you beat him, you get to use his transformation and you can also upgrade your armor through him not weapons i believe you can only upgrade your armor uh if you want to know how to you know just unlock this place so that you can use all these characters uh i think you still have to find these characters prior to coming here um but this place is called let me see this place is called something scroll and i'm gonna put timestamps in here so if you don't need this part you can skip it this place is called uh, Ruiz, Rui scroll. So that's that's for context. All right. So you got a good idea of oh, showing showing all of this. Wandering white. That's the that's the spirit I use. My curios, my armor. You get to see all of that. Uh, also, there is a a medicine that I use like halfway through the fight just to take a little less damage just in case. 
Uh, where is it? Upon considerable, considerable increases damage reduction for a long duration. Yeah, evil repelling uh, medicine. I equip that. And shock quelling uh, powder. Instantly remove shock. Now, yellow long doesn't actually, you know, um, he doesn't have, like, what is it? Thunderbane or shockbane. He doesn't cause that. Uh, so I'm not even, I'm not actually sure. I don't think this actually helps. Um, because he does have like shock attacks, lightning attacks, but this is just so you don't get that bane. All right, so I think that's everything you need to know about my equipment and the spells I have equipped. Oh, uh, relics. So for some people, if you're not the best at dodging, um, if you have hubris nose, I think you should if you get to this chapter. Hold breath moderately ex extends dodge invincibility duration. So if your dodge timing is not the greatest, and that's very important in this fight, that may help you. And, and I, I, I'm pretty good at dodging, you know, once I learn the, learn the enemy t uh, patterns and attacks. So I went with gain moderate damage bonus for a short time after casting a spell. Um, but choose what you like. And all of this stuff can be, uh, can be respect. All right, so, okay, now let's get to the actual boss fight. <clears throat> All right, so now for the yellow long fight. So what I recommend you do is you take a few rounds, maybe five to ten times, where you just go into the boss fight and you try to dodge his attacks and learn his timing. Dodging his moves and knowing his patterns are more important than inflicting the maximum amount of damage that you can at one time. So I recommend you just go into the boss fight, dodge until you die, do that about maybe five to ten times, and then you'll get at least a little bit of understanding of the timing and his attack patterns and, and the move sets, at least for his first phase. Because the first phase attacks are kind of like the foundation for his other moves, uh, that come later in like the second and third phase when he loses more health. But once you understand the foundation of those attacks and the setup of those attacks, then you'll be able to better handle the attacks that come later on. The next tip I have is do one to two attacks and then stop. And then prepare to dodge his next attack. Being greedy and trying to land the entire light attack combo will get you hit. The latter attacks in your light combo are harder to cancel out of, be, uh, cancel out of the animation. So I recommend mostly avoiding them. This is a fight of patience and slowly, slowly bleeding his life bar. It may seem at first like it's taking a while, but once you kind of download this boss and you're just going in and whittling away at his health little by little, it actually goes kind of fast in my opinion. So it's. If you watch the video and you see me attack, I usually do one attack sometimes, back off. Two attacks, back off. It's usually one or two, and then I'm just waiting. So that's how I recommend you, you handle this. So, in the first phase, all of his attacks are usually in combos of three, I believe. He has different starters for these combos and enders. It's often hard to tell which one he's going to do, which one he's going to start out with, and how he's going to end it. This is why I recommend. Uh, this is why I recommend earlier to do one or two attacks, and be ready so you can see what he does next. So to make it easier on yourself, on the first or second attack of the combo, you should dodge away from him or dodge backwards. And then on the third attack, dodge forward so that when his attack combo ends, you can get some hits in and do some damage. So I think usually what I did was I dodged towards him on the first attack, away from him on the second attack, and then towards him on the third. That's kind of what I tried to do. But as I said, you can dodge away on the first or second, whatever works best for you but I felt like that worked pretty well for me. Now, after you do about a quarter damage, he's going to start doing what I call these flying lightning, lightning attacks. They are very fast and they do high damage. 
But once again, it's just about learning the timing. It's intimidating at first, but you can definitely learn the timing on these. It's, it's not as intimidating um, as it seems. The tricky part about these flying lightning attacks is every time he does this combo, the order of when he does each attack is different because each attack has a different timing, if you get what I'm saying. So the first time he uses this attack, every single time the first time he uses it, the timing seems to be a certain way. But every time after that, he seems to switch up the three middle attacks. So let me try to explain this better, right? So the first and last attack seem to stay consistent no matter what, and those are the easiest to dodge. The attack two, three, and four, the best way to handle this is to honestly study the animation and recognize the anim when the animation is complete and then dodge. It's a little, it's, it's, with all his moves, it's typically safer to do the dodge a little bit earlier than to do it late. You know, doing it too early, obviously you're going to get hit, but it's best to do it a second before, maybe half a second or a second before you think you should. I think it's the safe way because these lightning attacks are very fast. But as I said, the first attack and the fifth attack are are the, are the easiest. With the two, with attack two, three, and four, you just have to, like I said, study it, learn the timing, and just he does have some tells um, of of the animation that he does for each of the attacks. So you have to be looking at him to see what he does, and you could kind of recognize when and how you should dodge. It sounds difficult at first, but it's very doable. It's very, you just have to get in there and get some repetitions. So the first attack comes out the quickest. When you see him charging and you see like this red lightning glow and then it goes back to blue and then it makes a lightning sound, you should dodge right after that. That first attack comes out super fast and almost instantly. Now the last attack is a ground strike attack and his animation in that last like 2.5 seconds and the invincibility frames um, on dodging seems to be pretty forgiving and it makes this easy to avoid so the first attack is pretty instant second attack is usually a little bit slower the third attack it could it could be a, like a similar to the second to the, to the second the fourth sometimes is also instant again and then, as I said, the fifth, that's pretty easy, is easy to dodge. But like I said, he switches this up at the order and the timing each time. So that's why this is kind of hard for me to guide you, uh, guide you through precisely. But that's the best advice for it. Trust me, they seem super fast and hard to dodge, but it can be done. Even if, even if you dodge four out of five, that's that's fine. So most likely after he does these uh, the, these flying lightning attacks, he will start to add more attacks to the three string combo he was doing in the first phase. Panic rolling and dodging is uh, panic ro panic rolling and dodging is typically bad and is gonna get you hit. It's best to just try to react, learn and try to actually react to it. Eventually, these moves that seem super fast will slow down for you and you will begin to recognize them. In this phase, he will start to do some delayed attacks and pump fakes to throw off your timing. These attacks are set up to make you dodge early and at the wrong time and then get you hit with the follow up attack that he actually does after it. So there's, for example, there's this move where he does this like really slow flip. And that's to make you think that that the attack is coming out at that exact time, but it's the it's a delayed attack. If you dodge when he does the flip, then the attack that comes after the flip is likely to hit you. So that's one of the things you got to recognize and actually react to the uh, react to the attacks and not these pump fakes. So one thing though, one, here's a, here's a tip. I will say that. If you find yourself reacting to these uh, pump fakes and you find yourself panic rolling, do it backwards away from him as much as possible till you till you are safe. If you know you're off rhythm with the dodging and 
you're likely to get hit. Just keep keep dodging backwards as far as you can. As keep doing it as far as you can. I, I think uh, I, I think you can uh, roll. I think you can dodge back three or four times until there's like a little cooldown for it. So just keep dodging backwards as far as far as you can until you know you're safe. And sometimes I found that will get me out of a, a situation where I miss time to dodge and then I can just reset myself. Rolling sideways or towards him in those situations where your timing is off, those usually result badly in you getting hit. All right, so now when you get him down to like a quarter of health, he will start to use even more moves like this like bison psycho crusher attack and this ground strike similar to what he did with his lightning flying attacks and he'll do this ground strike attack like three times in a row so you gotta watch out for that so about halfway through the fight i would recommend taking medicine to mitigate some damage like i uh said earlier in the video um there is this uh pill i believe you can take to take a little bit less damage um, and also use your spells whenever you whenever you can, right? I like I said, I mostly relied on immobilize, and then I used wandering white uh, spirit attack um, because that does a lot of damage and it buffs your uh, I think it buffs your defense. Um, that's been the only spirit I've used throughout this this game. Um, people say it's it's one of the best, um, but whatever you've been using and whatever you have upgraded upgraded, you can use that. But once again, you can respec. Remember, you can respec. Um, and then at the end, I use transformation and pluck of many to finish him off. But that's really it. So take my advice, take my tips, watch the video, see what I did. And like I said, this is this is really a boss where very, at first seems very intimidating, but it's it's a whole bunch of, you know, flash and and intimidation tactics but all of his moves you can you know the, these these moves you can dodge out of them um it, it's it is actually pretty forgiving with the with the dodge window and the invincibility frames you have so it's actually not as bad as you think it's really he's really just like any other boss um just got to learn the timing it's just that he has high damage and some pretty uh some pretty fast attacks um in the first phase, one of the reasons why I say only do one or two attacks is because he has a, he, you know, his his starter attacks are sometimes misleading. It, it, it looks like it's coming out slow, right? It looks like an attack is coming out slow, but it's actually pretty quick. So that's why it's better to watch and react rather than to just be super aggressive in this fight. Survival is more the key in this fight rather than doing the maximum amount of damage so i hope this helps that's really all the advice um that i have uh but i think these were the keys to me uh to me beating him because i know some people have said this it, it's taken them hours um i live streamed and it took me exactly about an hour to beat him so um i got through it fairly quicker than a lot of people like i said i may have been at a higher level than others so do with that what you uh what you may um so yeah i hope this advice helps hope these tips help let me know what you think and uh yeah i'll catch you all on the next video i'm out of here peace